Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Today I'm going to share with you two readathon TBRs because there are some amazing readathons coming up and I'm so excited. So the first readathon is the Spookathon, which was created by Books and Lala, who I love so much. And this one takes place from the 17th of October to the 23rd of October. And then there's the Book Buddyathon, which is created by Eleanor and Sam. And this one takes place from the 22nd to the 28th, I believe. So there's a small overlap, but I've got a plan for that. So I'll start with the Spookathon because that's happening first. So the first challenge for the Spookathon is to read a thriller. And for this one, I'm reading Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the one that I will read during the overlap because it counts towards one of the challenges in the Book Buddyathon as well. The next challenge is to read a book with red on the cover, and I decided to go with Monster Volume 2 by Naoki Urasawa and I love this manga series. It's all about a serial killer and it's very thrilling and awesome. So perfect for a readathon though, am I right? Next challenge is to read a book with a spooky word in the title and <laughs> I have Monster Volume 3 as well and Monster is spooky, right? Challenge number four is to read a 2016 release. And for this one, I am so excited to be reading Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. It is about time that I read this because it is inspired by Jane Eyre, um, but it features a main character who likes to murder people. So that's fun. And the last challenge of the Spookathon is to read a book featuring a paranormal character or creature. Now, I'm not sure if this one actually does feature one, but I have a feeling it features a ghost and that is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I've been wanting to read this forever and I've been saving it for the month of October, so I figured the Spookathon was the perfect time to read it. Now, if I manage to read all of these and still have time left over, I would also really like to read Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Zoe from Read by Zoe has a Jane Austen book club and Northanger Abbey is the pick for October so I kind of want to read this as well. So that's the Spookathon and now we've got the Book Buddyathon. Now of course my book buddy is Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads. She is my one and only and I love her dearly. The first challenge for the Book Buddyathon is to buddy read a book. And we've been meaning to buddy read this book for so long, but life has just been very busy lately. So we're planning on buddy reading Ivory and Bone by Julie Eshbar, which we're both really excited to read. It is a prehistoric retelling of Pride and Prejudice. What? The next challenge is to read a book with pictures, and I decided this is the perfect time to start reading Attack on Titan, am I right? Also, manga is so helpful during readathons because you can get through them so quickly. So I thought I'd have to go with that one. And the next challenge is to read a book where the title begins with the first letter of your book buddy's first name. So Chelsea starts with a C and I don't really have any books starting with a C apart from The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. Yes, Billy, I'm reading it. Yes. This is so exciting. I've been wanting to read these for a really long time. Um, so I'm really excited to finally be reading it. Yay, JK Rowling! Next challenge is to just read a random book. I decided to go with volume two of Attack on Titan. The last challenge is to read five books total. So, got four so far. Now this is where the overlapping book comes in. So then I will have five books to read for that readathon. I'm so keen for these readathons. It's gonna be a blast. Let me know if you are participating down below and I will see you soon in a new video. Goodbye.